In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Microsoft Authenticator on your new phone, even if you no longer have access to your old one. It's a tricky situation, but I've simplified the steps to help you get back in. Let's dive in. First, let's get the Microsoft Authenticator app installed on your new phone. Head over to your phone's app store, whether it's the Google Play Store for Android or the App Store for iOS. Once there, search for Microsoft Authenticator. When you find it, tap the download or install button and wait for the app to install. Once the app is successfully installed, go ahead and open it. You'll be greeted with a prompt to sign into your Microsoft account. Tap on the sign in option, which will lead you to a screen asking for your email address. Here, you need to enter the email address associated with your Microsoft account and then tap next to proceed. Now, typically, Microsoft would ask you to check the Microsoft Authenticator app on your old phone for a verification code. But since you no longer have access to your old device, we'll need to use alternative methods to verify your identity. Look towards the bottom of screen. You'll see an option that says, use your password instead. This is the route we'll take. Tap on this option, and you'll be prompted to enter your Microsoft account password. Once you input the correct password, it will allow you to sign in and recover your authenticator details. If for some reason you can't use your password, there's another way. You'll find an option that says, I don't have access to the Microsoft Authenticator app. Tap on this and you'll be directed to a screen where you can choose to receive a verification code sent to one of your alternate email addresses linked to your Microsoft account. Select the alternate email address you have access to. Microsoft will then send a verification code to that email. Once you receive the code, enter it into the app to continue. In some cases, Microsoft might require you to take additional steps, such as providing a security code or updating your security information. If the previous methods don't work, you might need to update your security information, which can take up to 30 days. Be prepared for this waiting period. To update your security info, follow the link provided on the screen you'll be prompted to sign in again with your Microsoft account details. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to add new security information, like an alternate email address or a phone number. If you've also forgotten your Microsoft account password, you'll need to reset it before proceeding. To do this, open your web browser and search for Microsoft account recovery. Click on the official Microsoft recovery page and follow the instructions to reset your password. During the password reset process, you'll need to provide your account details, an alternate email for contact, and answer some security questions. Microsoft will then send a code to your alternate email, which you'll use to verify your identity. After successfully following these steps, you'll regain access to your account and be able to set up the Authenticator app on your new phone. Remember, keeping your security information up to date can help prevent similar issues in the future.